It's not the heat, it's the humidity. We've all heard that saying and likely recited it during the dog days of summer. And while dry heat can certainly be uncomfortable when the temperatures rise into the high 20s and 30s, it's the humidity that can take a toasty summer day and turn it into an unbearable one. But why? Our bodies like to stay near 37 degrees, so when it's hot outside or you're hot after a workout, your body starts to sweat. Sweat is mainly just water and salt discharged from millions of glands in your skin. As that sweat evaporates from your skin into the atmosphere, transforming from a liquid into a gas, it actually takes some of that heat from your body and as a result, cools you down. However, when it's humid, the air has more water vapor in it. And when there's more moisture in the air, your body can't sweat as easily. Instead of just freely evaporating into the air, your sweat just sits on your skin, making you feel damp and uncomfortable. Simply put, you wear humid air. This difference between dry heat and humid heat is the reason why the Humidex gets mentioned separately in the weather forecast. The Humidex is used to describe how hot and humid weather feels to the average person and is calculated by factoring in the temperature and how much moisture is in the air. Given it takes into account the temperature and the humidity, the Humidex can be a better way to relay how a summer day will feel. When the Humidex climbs into the high 30s, it can really start to feel oppressive. And if there are two or more days in a row with these conditions, heat warnings may be issued. An extremely high Humidex value is any reading over 40. And under those conditions, you should reduce unnecessary physical activity. A Humidex over 46 is considered dangerous and brings a high risk of heat stroke. So whether it's a dry and hot day or a hot and muggy one, Stay hydrated and stay safe this summer.